850. Soundproof reading pods, open plan classrooms and balcony courtyards. A first look tonight inside the new Arthur Phillip High School at Parramatta. It's the state's first high-rise school, but could be the last for a while. The construction plagued by delays and blowouts in cost. A whole new meaning to the term high school, 17 storeys high. So this is the first level that's completely ready and finished. Students getting a first look at the new Year 7 classrooms. I'm super excited. Parramatta Public School is also under construction across the road from Arthur Phillip and the light rail line will run between the two. We've needed to fit in with the space requirements to, to deal with a very large catchment of students and that's why we have been really innovative. Stacking the classrooms means more space to play, room for up to 2,000 students to be ready for Term 1 next year, a year overdue. The new school offers students different spaces for learning, including these soundproof pods. Available for students to come to do silent reading, have some quiet time by themselves or even make their class presentations. There's a new science lab and a new gym, so I'm really looking forward to experience that. Impressive facilities, but the $100 million budget has blown out to $225 million and archaeological finds delayed the early stages. We found uh, the original hospital, we found the original uh, army barracks, Lancer barracks. A second high-rise school is under construction in inner Sydney, but after such a complicated build at Parramatta, it's unlikely we'll see many more in the near future. Liz Daniels, Nine News. Former